Good morning! I'm Jenna Hagen Gruber and I'm going to be the teacher taking you through a day in the life of a teacher. Um, it's 7 10 a.m. and I'm at school and there are not tons of people here yet but there are quite a few teachers that are getting here right about now. Um, it depends like who the teacher is. Some teachers like to get here at 6 45 in the morning to prep and some teachers I generally stay later in the afternoon to prep because I don't want to wake up earlier than 5 45 um, but we are here and my students will probably be outside my classroom waiting and generally first period is not the happiest to be here because it is the, the first bell rings at 7.18 and then class officially begins at 7.25. So you can imagine that my ninth graders who are 14 and 15 are not stoked to be awake. And All right, so it is, I don't have a clock in my room, so it's 8.35. The clock is supposed to go over there, but instead there's just a hole in the wall so I just tell my students what time it is um, I'm on prep so teachers get um, in a high school at least we get um, a prep period mine's third period so every third period I get off and I get to work on my classroom I get to make sure that my students are good to go and all my activities are good to go um, today I'll be working on domain four. I'll show you what that is in a second. Um, but while we're waiting, I'll show you a little bit about my classroom. So here's my classroom. It's um, an English class. I'm in Yucca. Um, Yucca is a building on Sandia campus, but it's much farther east. Um, it used to be an elementary school. So it's a little bit different. Um, they're reading Romeo and Juliet, so they have their huge textbooks out. I just have them leave them on the desk because if they put them away on that shelf over there, it would take a long time and the students just wouldn't do that. Um, I have my assignments on the board, what their homework is. They'll have homework due today um, or due Monday. And then the the agenda and all my phones that are taken. If you see, I'm currently winning for taking the most phones. Um, the students have bell ringers every morning. So when they first come in, I just had first period. It's over now. It goes from 7.25 to 8.18. So they do grammar bell ringers. They're portrayed. So the best part of prep is that we get like in a class period to just get to work on whatever we need to do. Um, so today I'm working on a couple different things and I'll show you that now. All right, so on prep, I close my door because if I don't, then <laughs> students will come in um, just like on their break or anything and I need to get stuff done. So I need to grade this stack of papers. These are all essays. I need to answer all my emails and a lot of them are just from other teachers because I, or principal or parents, but I ask, I'm a first year teacher, so I ask for a lot of help or feedback and then teachers are awesome and send me information. I'm doing domain four, which is me proving to the state and um, to my admin that I am reflecting on my teaching, that I'm participating in my professional community, that I'm communicating with families and I'll, I'll have to document that with artifacts as well. And then I'll be working on my grad school assignments because I'm graduating in May with my master's. Um, so I'll be working on those that are due this weekend. <laughs> I just draw her like that. Mm -hmm. Brian, what are you drawing? I'm drawing his wife. Okay. I'm drawing his wife, too. I'm drawing his wife. What is that supposed to be? Um, his wife. <laughs> his wife. <laughs> okay, what are her eyes? What the, line did you get the eyes from? Oh, uh, the, the one where it says, eyes are nothing like the sun. Okay. And then what about her hair? It's like wiry. Oh wow, Black that wire. is magic. <sighs> All right, Josiah, let me see your drawing. Hey. Put it on the desk. That's good, huh? <laughs> My wife is ugly. She <laughs> has wired hair. Wow. What's with her mouth? <laughs> Thank you. 
fiend messenger of heaven unto the white upturned wandering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy puffing clouds and sails upon the bosom of air. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where there, wherefore... Okay, whoa. Oh, you butchered the best oh. line of all time. Try again. How dramatic do you think you should be? Does anyone else think they can do it better? Moises, Moises, let's try. <laughs> oh Romeo, Romeo, where foul thou Romeo? <laughs> You're about to be. No, try again. Somebody else. All right, so it's lunch, and I just spent about the first five minutes of lunch disciplining some students, one of which who lied to me in class. He had his hood on and they asked him to take his hood off. And he did this little move where he, you know, took his, his hood off and then also pulled out his um, AirPods. And then had the audacity to come after class and ask Miss, can I have my phone and AirPods back? No. No, not only did he have them in, in class, but he lied. Um, I had someone direct message me about posting about the phones taken every day. I take phones only because I do not allow phones in my class at all. So the students have known this since day one. And when they break the rules or they lie to me about it, I take their phone and I take them down to the office and the office has a policy where they get the phones back Thursdays at 2.25. So that is what I will be doing with this student today. All right, so I got a couple questions that I'm gonna just respond to. One, yes, the English department kind of has a competition going about who can take the most phones. It's mostly just because we don't allow phones in our classroom. So um, when students either have them out or are being disru disruptive and like blatantly are disobeying our rules, we take them. I have all freshmen kids like all of my kids are freshmen so they tend to be the ones that don't know those rules yet so uh yes currently i am winning the english department contest i've taken to as of today i've taken 30 phones this school year so i'm winning um but my students have been getting better um and also about administrative paperwork it depends what month it is So lunches are 30 minutes, um, so I'm still grading, trying to get that done and eating. But I also have a high school dance marathon meeting tomorrow and then probably a freshman senate meeting next week. I sponsor both of those organizations. So what I'll be working on today is just trying to get the list of students prepared for tomorrow and get all of our goals that we need to get done um, at the meeting and all of the things that we need to accomplish at the meeting outlined. That way tomorrow when I go to the meeting, the students are more prepared and we don't take up the whole 30 minutes. So generally two days a week during the five day week, I'll have either Senate meetings or I'll have a high school dance marathon meeting with the students because you're supposed to meet a certain amount of days per week or per month to make sure that you are a sponsored organization at the school. Because I have a big fat head. <laughs> Does your head grow bigger when you get older? I don't think so. Because I feel like my head has gotten a lot bigger in the last five, ten years. Can you smile? And it's not because of <laughs> Take the picture, right? So now that school's out, it is 2.36. I usually try and stay like at least an hour, sometimes more, depending on how much you have to get done. And most of the teachers do as well. Um, I know a lot of teachers that stay much later than I do. So some of the things that I do after school, um, if I can turn. So I keep track of attendance, like who's tardy, who is talking or being disrespectful, excused, etc. So I go through and I like make sure that all of their stuff was entered in synergy and here um, I also have kids they get a couple of these per semester so they can use them for late assignments or bathroom passes and then I go up over here and I keep track of how many they've used 
So I'll be doing that. I have some emailing to do and, you know, sell that pile of grading. So I'll probably be here for at least an hour. I'll check in then. So it's the end of the day. Um, it's almost four. There's one car over here, probably like a couple back there still. So for sure still teachers are here. Um, and I know teachers will be here until pretty late. Um, my mom's a teacher and she will sometimes stay until like 4.30 or 5 and a lot of the teachers here will too so teaching is for sure like longer than just the school hours. Um, I'm just a first year teacher so I don't even have that much experience with it but a lot of my mentor teachers and people that I just am around like they work so 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 hard. So I um, don't want anyone to think that my account of being a teacher is really like the only one I'm Again, very, very new, and there are a lot of teachers who have tons more experience than me, but um, it is a really long day, and it can be really draining to be with the kids all day, so it's... All right, so I went to the gym, and then I got to go home and hang out with some of my friends, and we made dinner together, and um, I figure out what I'm gonna teach tomorrow, and now I get to relax and grade a couple essays because I didn't finish those today, and watch The Handmaid's Tale. So I just wanted to check in and say thank you to everybody who tuned in. Um, remember that every teacher out there has like a different routine every day, and of course, I'm a first year teacher, so my routine might not be the same as some teachers who have been veteran teachers or have been in the field for a while, but I just want to tell you all thank you so much for checking in and I hope that you got to learn a little bit about what it's like to have a day in the life of a teacher. So I hope you all have a great day and um, good night because it's almost 9 p.m. and that's my bedtime. All right, bye.